But you can only lay on the ground for a certain period of time. You could also just like, whenever you go back to the gathering hub, you know, like remove the armor that you're currently wearing. Oh! I got all head crits with my Helmbreaker and then activated my blast off of it. Oh god. I did like at least 500 damage. Do you see what me and Harry are doing to the Kulu? If you can knock it over, that'd be great. Time. Really? Game, you're just gonna make me go in that way because Caleb smacked me? I'm now seeing the true power of my Blast Katana, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Did he seriously just run three feet? Really, Caleb? You made me waste my Helmbreaker! I would have done a lot more damage than whatever you just did. I don't know, it's about to die, so... My Helmbreaker does almost 400 to 700 damage. Yeah! BOOM! At least 330 on that. But it's very weak to, uh, it's very weak to dragon for some reason. Piercing pod. <laughs> really? Let me use my helm breaker on you. Let me use my helm breaker! Yep, screw it, I'm not, I'm not touching this thing anymore. Literally, Caleb keeps smacking it, and it keeps falling out of the way of my helm. There we go. <laughs> Dual Helmbreaker, my dude. <laughs> if only there was a high five emote. <laughs> Wyatt, can you, you record can that? Both both? <laughs> yeah, I can. I can record that. <laughs> you can. You just see me and you both go up at the same time and just smack the Kulu out of existence. <laughs> That was the coolest thing in Monster Hunter. I think my coolest thing was whenever I did Helmbreaker, I cut Anjanath's tail off and killed it at the same time. I let's go kill a Val Hazak. Oh yeah, the uh the Fuku Fuku. I'm gonna go let's go kill that Val.